hello guys in the previous lesson we have talked about how can we create a equation of motion with the specific physical parameters such as the mass spring and damping ratio and so the mass was calculated by us uh, in the previous lesson and so we should focus on now what the spring coefficient relation or calculation spring coefficient and so in order to calculate the spring coefficient first we should describe a spring factor like this one a cylindrical object or we can use the physical spring and so in these both terms we have different equation related to the calculation of the spring coefficients okay <coughs> and so in your real life application there could not be a spring or the real spring but we have the material with specific shapes like the cylindrical or cubic or rectangle and so if we choose this kind of <coughs> shape in here like the mill structure and so we can calculate it with uh, the parameter of the material selection and shape determination or the 3d size selection okay and so in cylindrical objects k can be calculated by what e times a divided by l and so what's about the a and l and e e is the directly to the elasticity value of material which is novel for each material and so this value comes from what or where we should uh, create an experiment in order to calculate of these things or compression and extension test should be applied on this material and then we can obtain this by using these diagrams stress strain relation for each specific object and so we have two region in here linear and nonlinear region and so if we suppose that the material is a spring or has a spring factor and then this linear region should be applied on this material because in the nonlinear form shape is deformed and so we cannot obtain the previous form of this parameter or the previous 3d dimensions in the nonlinear region on stress strain curves okay and so <coughs> the a is directly related to what the, this area but how can we select this area form if we apply the force at the direction of the left hand side in here or the left direction and so the a should be selected in this form and so what if if we push this material at the direction of the up and so the a must be equal to what and this one okay the cylindrical shape the other area of this shape okay and so l is equal to what the direction null length of this material okay and so in real life we can say that the k can be calculated by what e for example must be equal to what the newton square and so the a is equal to what the 0 0.001 meter square and so the L is equal to what one meter for example these whole values are arbitrary selection and so K can be calculated by with the 
1000th time 0 0.001 value divided by 1 must be equal to what? The 1 Newton divided by meter. Okay? In the fourth representation. And so, we can select the K factor like this one. But in the KT or real spin coefficients in the real life application, and so we can calculate it, it as the, for example, the 64 times E or G times D square divided by pi, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember what is the correct form of this equation, but we should drive the spring coefficient by using this formula and this formula can be found in on internet or the some system dynamics book or some the material books you should check it okay and so in the third place we should create a damping ratio of this selection okay the damping ratio generally is not derived but it is obtained by the experiment results for example if we have such kind of experiment result f is the friction coefficient and so the x dot is the velocity of these objects and so, if we try to obtain this formula like this one, and so in time, the x dot and for c come closer or uh, going to the steady state value of these things, but we can use the linear region approach in here, like this one. For example, this area comes from the method of curve fitting this is the famous formula in the biomedical region approach okay don't use it don't mock it but we can use the curve fitting techniques in here <coughs> okay but on not on the cardiovascular systems design okay and so if we try to obtain the correct formula of these things fc is equal to c times x dot in here and so for example the fc is 100 newton in here x dot is equal to what is the 50 and so we can select the c is equal to 2 but in the form of these things we should select the general formula of the fc x dot in here in experiment results and so FC is equal to what? 2, 10, 50, 100, 1000 in here. And so we should measure the X dot value in here. 1, 5, 25, 50. And so the FC is equal to what? This is the 200 value in here. And so, this is, must be equal to 200. And so, this is the linear region of these things, but this is the nonlinear region of these graphs. And so, we can select the C is equal to 2. And so, C dimension in here, Newton meters times seconds in here. Okay? And so... <laughs> We can create uh, some generic pattern or the some generic equation of motion by using these coefficients because in the general form we can write it down as these values can be written by the specific formula the final form of x of motion is given by now 
with the value of these coefficients f must be equal to what 1 times x dot dot plus 2 dot x dot plus 1 x okay this is our general notation of this equation of motion but how can we use this formula efficiently and so firstly you should remember that or you should notice that the whole things in mathematical notation but coefficients comes from where the physical parameter like the material science or shape determination or 3d size okay and so if we are using this equation and then we can easily manipulate this equation by using what the sum known or effective methods in maths and so in this time we can use the transfer function method or state space presentation method in order to solve this second order dynamic equation okay in the next lesson we will start with the transfer function method and so we can easily obtain the transfer function of the x versus force value and so after that we should create a specific pattern which is which is represented by the state space representation form and so the state space representation form is used in system dynamics equation to what to in order to create a first order dynamics in order to sum using the mathematical manipulation because in maths first order equation is an effective way to be applied on the whole mathematical rules or notation on this kind of system and so as a result if we have the first order dynamic and whole mathematical notation or a lot of mathematical methods can be applied on this equation of motion form okay